I'm uh, Julian Sprung, um, Two Little Fishies. I'm president of Two Little Fishies. And we're here today at Reefapalooza 2015 in Orlando. And um, Thomas, you're asking me about our new product, Accuracy One, which is an artificial seawater mix. Um, I figure if I'm going to talk about it, I should hold it, right? I should hold the box. I'll come right here. Here I am. You don't. Yeah. Um, I don't have the actual salt here to show you, but I've got the packaging. Um, Accuracy One is a, um, a seawater mix that is designed to match natural seawater parameters. Um, and we package it in a plurality of individually or of individual packs. So the, instead of getting a whole 50 gallon bag, you get a 50 gallon box that has 10 bags in it. You then can take one bag and make five gallons of water. I think a lot of hobbyists commonly mix in a five gallon bucket. It's very easy to carry, especially for small aquariums. Even if you have a, a larger aquarium, maybe you have multiple, you put two or three or four five gallon buckets, it's easy to put four and a half or five gallons of water in there, tear open the salt, individual pack and put it in there. You don't need to measure the salinity. You know it will be, if you've got four and a half gallons, it's gonna be 1.026, boom. We very, not only individually pack it, very carefully, precisely weigh it. Um, so as I said, the um, formulation is matching natural seawater so that you have, you know um, the reference amount of calcium, the reference, you know, potassium, magnesium are like natural seawater. I did elevate the alkalinity and, and calcium ever so slightly above natural seawater um, just because I figured people might um, mix it up a little bit lighter instead of four and a half gallons, which is full strength, they might do five gallons in the bucket and then um, that way I didn't want them to have a slightly deficient calcium or alkalinity level and, and wonder why. Uh, people have to remember uh, that most artificial seawater mixes um, typically mix up lighter, less salt than natural seawater, but they have a higher calcium and alkalinity level than natural seawater. So they're really a, a bit different, whereas ours is closer to the real thing. Um, you see the packaging, very convenient in a, in a box. Um, we put a, a carry hole like that, so it weighs about 16 pounds. Um, and then you, it's easy to carry as opposed to the 50 gallon bag, which is sort of floppy. And it has nice shelf presence. Uh, I had fun working on this design. I've got photographs that um, Colin Ford from Coral Morphologic uh, supplied here. Even have Sanjay Yoshi. Uh, those are a picture of his, um, what does he call his clownfish? Uh, photons, black photon clowns. Those are babies that he raised. Um, this uh, for the carry handle there's a photograph there of a uh, puffer fish uh, at coral morphologic a very beautiful puffer so anyway we have the story on here of why we designed it the way we did the individual packaging in addition to uh, making it easy where you don't have to measure the salinity it also has an advantage in that you can be sure that each mix you do is the same um, having a larger a bucket of salt, for example, or a larger bag, if you don't use all of it at once, one scoop is not necessarily the same as the other scoops. Um, even though the manufacturers are careful to homogeneously mix the salt, um, if you have a large uh, container, um, two things happen. One, you can get segregation of salts just from vibration and sitting. Uh, also, exposure to the air with humidity uh, causes reactions. The moisture from the air will react with the salts and that can change it. It can change the formulation. You can get some uh, residuals that precipitate out when you mix it up. Um, so I wanted to avoid that and to me the way to do that was to create individual packs that you would use 100% of the mix. Uh, so it's, it's just a different concept. Um, on this brand accuracy uh, we also have two other products. One of them 
was the first accuracy product we came out with uh, natural seawater, and that's Accuracy NSW. In addition to that, you can follow me here, Thomas, you're really good, steady hand. Um, we have another natural seawater product called Accuracy Seawater Reference Solution. Um, so what we do is we take uh, the natural seawater, we collect reef water, which comes in at about 1.027. It's actually higher than standard seawater salinity. We add a small amount of reverse osmosis water to it to bring it down to 35 salinity. Um, and we're lucky, in addition to being able to collect the seawater in the Miami area, we also have the University of Miami's um, Malero Lab, and they are able to verify that this is at S equals 35. It's at standard uh, seawater salinity. Um, so why would we do that? Not just to talk about it. Uh, what can you do with this? You can use it to calibrate a refractometer to make sure that when you use that refractometer to test your salinity in your aquariums uh, that you're getting an accurate reading. You can also use it to check a swing arm hydrometer or a floating hydrometer uh, to make sure that they're also giving you an accurate reading. In addition, since natural seawater has known values for magnesium, uh, for calcium, for alkalinity, uh, for potassium, you can use it as a reference solution if you were wanting to check the accuracy of a test kit. So you've got multiple uses uh, for one product uh, made with real natural seawater.